Luke has a disease called tuberous sclerosis. He was diagnosed with um, that when he was three weeks old. That time just changed me as a person and as a mom. It definitely took away an experience that, you know, I didn't get to have with Luke. To be like worried about nursing schedules or um, whether his like newborn outfits were gonna fit him, you know, just normal things that um, moms go through. We were really hopeful after the first surgery. We went home and he was seizure free for 10 days. But his seizures after surgery, he was having like 50 a day. His seizures were dangerous just because he wanted to be a little boy and we couldn't really let him because he would fall and hit his head a lot of um, bumps and bruises along the way. He said that he wanted us to be in the best hands possible with the best surgeons in the world and that we would be traveling to Houston, to Texas Children's Hospital. We came down and we had a three-day EEG. The laser ablation, um, is such a cool surgery because they don't have to open the brain up when they're going to remove something. So they pinpoint the laser through the catheter and they're able to burn um, and remove the area that they want to, um, to take out. And I remember a doctor said to us, no brain is better than bad brain. And that was like really like a super weird thing to hear because you would really like your kid to have as much brain as possible. Um, but as soon as I processed that, um, that made it okay for them taking out as, as much as they need to, needed to. In true Luke fashion, as I'm on the hospital bed getting wheeled back to surgery with him, he has like one more seizure like for the road I guess and that was it he has had none since and not only is he seizure free but we just got his updated EEG today and where he was having spikes in every single region of his brain nine out of the ten seconds that they were monitoring uh, we saw today that in a 45-minute in EEG, he had two abnormal spikes. That's it. Um, that m moved me to tears today. There's peace, and, and that's all you want to be able to give your child is just, just some peace. He's much more present and he's aware of what's going on. He is noticing the trees and the sidewalk and the fence and he's just there, he's with you. It worked for now and he's a moving target. We're just gonna take it a day at a time, but we're just gonna try to enjoy the, the moments that we have right now. And I know that he, <laughs> he is for sure. The doctors here and the entire staff, they have given us such a gift. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing place.